Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Football. Brand new release just dropped today. Plenty in the store. Go and get it. Let's knock out a bunch more of these. Six box pick your team three is from a fresh case right there, everyone. Big thanks to all of these lovely people for getting into the action on a Friday. Thanks for spending a bit of your weekend with us. We appreciate that. Thanks to Jay for knocking out a couple big teams here at the end. All right, now, the case, 12 boxes, so we're doing half cases. Obviously, breaks three and four are from the same case. Five and six will be from the same case. Seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12, so on and so forth. So we've got six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side. We'll use this guy right here. Let's use, I like that one. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's two. So we're gonna do the left side right here. This side, we will save for break number four, pick your team four. So you can see I marked all of these four, so you know they're from the same case. Let's not mix it up with the divisional break. Keep this right over here. All right, I think we're good to go. You can see the rest of the boxes on the top camera right there. There we go. Five autographs a box, including one on-card auto per box on average. That's new, I think. The clear ticket mosaics are pretty new. We got parallels, we got inserts. Now, a lot of this is vet common, so those are not gonna ship. But all the important stuff will ship. Good luck, everybody. RIP Hank Aaron. Passing away at 86. Good luck, everyone. I think if you go on uh, YouTube, you should be able to find, uh, uh, I think, Vince Scully doing a great Hank Aaron home run call. I think it was 715, if I'm not mistaken. Who was the pitcher? Who was the pitcher that gave up 715? I don't know. Someone look. That's that's some good trivia. Good Hank Aaron trivia. I, I agree. Yeah, TJ is right. Yeah. Maybe later tonight we'll we'll, we'll take a closer look at his numbers, but his all-time numbers are still unreal. The number of cat the sheer number of categories that he's that he's right up there. Hammer and Hank. All right, first box here. There's Rookie of the Year contenders, Tua, Tungo Vailoa. And our first autograph is going to be Quez Watkins. Love the clean look of contenders. They always do a good job. I think it's even a little bit, a little bit clean, even cleaner this year, which I kind of like. So the first autograph will go to um, Nathaniel. 
Murphy with the Fly Eagles Fly. Philadelphia Eagles, the two Rookie of the Year contenders going to Miami. That'll be for Jay. I'm looking for his ink. We'll do uh, top bottom randomizers for this. Actually, we'll probably do left right randomizers for this. That'll be a little bit easier. At the end, and Kirk Cousins autograph, MVP contenders. 41 out of 49. I was telling people, hey, there are some vet autos in here, Hall of Famer autos in here, retired player autos in here, active player autos in here. I highlighted the Vikings that were a good deal because you can chase Jefferson's and now this. That goes to Jay Goins. He picked up the... Uh, let's scoot this mic over a little bit. Who, so thanks to Jay who picked up the Vikings straight up. Yeah, they, they mixed some coach autos in here too, which I thought was pretty cool. Not just any, not just any coach, like the, uh, the good coaches. Any guesses on this redemption for bragging rights? And a plate. Is Coughlin in there? <laughs> Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell plate, and that's still Jets edition of Le'Veon Bell going to Mark Bissett. With New York. Mark, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Adam Kupperman's wondering who caught Hank Aaron's number 715 and what does he do now? Yeah, who has that ball? What's the story on that? Cesar Ruiz for the Saints. That'll be for Oliver Soria. It's Justin Herbert, Rookie of the Year contenders. And a nice Michael Pittman Jr. On-card autograph. That's pretty nice. That will be for the Blue Horseshoes, Mark Bissett, and the Colts. Someone needs to track down that ball. So where, where is 715? Is it in the Hall of Fame? Was it, yeah, was it given back to Hank Aaron? Does the person still have it? It's at my house. It's at Thomas's house. <laughs> how, do you, how do you even like, you know, like verify that back in the, back in the day, in the mid 70s? Scott thinks it was uh, Downing, Al Downing? Of the, was it Dodgers? Who gave it up? And then Adam's saying, oh, apparently it was caught by Tom House, who was a pitcher on the team, and now he works with the with NFL QBs. So, what, so what's Tom House going to do with this? There's Kenneth Murray. It, Chargers on Kenneth Murray? It's usually not a redemption. There you go, Chargers. That'll go to Frank and the Bolts. And a free top loader. Oh, and the ball's in the hall. So the person who caught is Tom House and eventually got to the hall of fame. As it should be. All right, nice start. Box one, box two. We have more in the store, folks. More six box pick your teams, and we have four box divisions of the brand new contenders. We also have late night tonight with Sean Jaspi. So after my eight hours are done with you, Sean will go for another three, five, eight hours with you. As long as it's selling out, he'll make it happen. I'm sure we'll run through a lot of these contenders. As the as the evening goes on, as we gain more momentum on people buying teams.
All right, all right, TJ's got some information on the ball for us. Magnavox, the uh, the TV company, paid a million dollars to take the ball and bat on a tour around the country for a year. That's kind of fun, and then it went to the hall. Huh, where was the, that's kind of cool. Was the tour, where were the locations of the tour? I wonder where they would have done it. Do you think they do it on at, like baseball stadiums, or do you think they do it at other locations? I guess I'm wondering where they do it in LA, if the, if it ever got to LA. Probably probably Dodger Stadium. All right, all right. We'll we'll get to number ten, Travis. Don't you worry. We'll get to ten tonight. Is Randy? Oh, is that not? It is number to one forty nine. Randy Moss going to Jay and the Vikings. Might find his autograph in here somewhere too. I think sometimes you can have autographs of this. That's why there's that space there. We've got rookie ticket autograph Carter Coughlin for the Giants. Satoshi with the New York Football Giants. There's Rookie of the Year contenders Joe Burrow. That'll be for the Bengals. That'll be for Sean Maddock. And we got Reggie Robinson the second Dallas Cowboys Scott Goodman on the board with the boys There's Drew Brees he he might hasn't officially announced anything right Drew Brees And there is 52 at 54 Kamal Martin Rookie ticket autograph and that sort of ticket stub die cut here, which I think is really neat. Packers, one of the last bought mojo teams for Jay Goins. There's Jalen Hurts, rookie of the year contenders. Oh, and a J.K. Dobbins Rookie of the Year contenders on card autograph 14 out of 49. Nice one for the Purple Birds, Aaron Billingsley with the Ravens. These are pretty cool. Which ones are numbered to the player's NFL jersey number? The the ticket stub ones? That'll go to the Eagles, of course. Who had, so many people had half. Is this you, Mike? I had a full donut. I had a full donut. Jay with the Titans. With the Darrington Evans. There are your five autographs right here. I'll do a little recap at the end, too. All right, box number three. I had the chocolate donut. I brought the donuts. Nothing better. Coffee and a donut. Right, Adam Copperman saying, "There's no time for only eating half a donut. You got to finish the job." <laughs> mm. Boss man thinks it's the girls at the store. They're going halvesies. Mm -hmm. 
You could eat two halves. You'd have two different donuts. No, I eat three halves. Three halves? <laughs> Teddy's tr Teddy's trying to watch his figure. Maybe maybe it was Teddy. Teddy's on a health kick. <laughs> You're right, right. This is this is more, Teddy's health kick is more of a necessity. He's not ready to shed the mortal coil yet. All right, next another plate coming up, not autoed. And the plate is going to be Jalen Ramsey, one of one plate. Esteban Sanchez with the Rams. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Maybe we'll see an autographed plate at some point. Another autograph coming up here is another Cowboy autograph. Super Bowl auto, Cliff Harris. Scott with the boys. Remember, remember Cliff Harris, Teddy? No, that's before you, me. You don't remember Captain Crash? Who uh, crashed a Super Bowl winning party for the first time at the end of the 1971 season when the Cowboys defeated Miami 24-3 at Super Bowl VI. Part of the famous doomsday defense, Harris doomed the Dolphins to defeat by applying his hard-hitting style in Dallas' first Super Bowl victory. There you go. Marlon Davidson for the Falcons. Rookie ticket autograph for Jay Goins. And we have, for the Washington football team, Stephen Sims Jr. I feel like in that playoff game that Washington had, that I feel like his name, his number was called Mark with Washington. He was getting some, getting some love from the offense. Next autograph is uh, Mekhi Becton. Rookie autograph for Mark and the Jets. J E T S Jets Jets Jets. <laughs> and we got a Keyshawn Vaughn on card autograph for James Teal and the Buccaneers. One on card a box. All right, three more boxes to go. Yeah, Makai Becton's pretty solid, right? I, yeah, I feel like we don't see him. We don't see him too often right here. Should be a big part of the, the, the Jets' new future. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna see too many O-line autos in general, but you know, for for fans of the guys up front. Always good. Yeah. A billion dollars. Yeah. Isn't the drawing tonight? How many did you buy? A lot. I bought like two, I think. Today you bought them? No, I bought them a couple days ago. Wow. You bought three today. Someone's got to win. What's the strategy about time? Of buying. <laughs> there is none. There's no strategy. <laughs> I thought someone in Maryland wanted or something. That was a different They one. want Powerball, Powerball, I think was, yeah. So Mega Millions is at, what, 970 or something like that? A billion dollars? in you Close, yeah. I'd buy the whole card industry. You'd buy the entire card industry? Yeah, Panini, Tops, I'd become the Amazon of sports cards. <laughs> Just buy PSA, buy yeah, Collect. If you want it, you have to go through. Yeah, buy Blowout. 
Everybody. Buy Dave and Adams. Everybody. Steel City's bought out. Every, everyone's just bought out. Buy Beckett. All these buy Panini. Buy, buy Tops. Oh. Buy Upper Deck. Yeah. Upper Deck's right down the freeway. We can just buy them. Carlsbad. They're just right there. Well, uh, Riffer saying the lump sum would be <laughs> seven hundred, about seven hundred fifty million dollars. Yeah, Mickey Mantle five million if pocket change. I think they don't give it to the mobile ones. I think they do pop mom and pop because that's a better store. Yeah, I think the liquor stores are a better play. Well, they get a cut too, so it's always good for the mom and pops. That's why I don't think they send the. The winners to like mobile and you know, no, no, no. I, I do, I do 7 Eleven though, those are franchise, so they're, those are like mom and pop franchises. But if it's on the headline, I'll say one from 7 Eleven, that's not cool. Uh, you want it from like Al's liquor store, yeah, like Mickey's Deli. Someone won 25 million there. Uh, uh we should be buying them from Mickey's. We should be buying them from Mickey's. Can, yeah, can we sell lottery tickets? We, we shouldn't sell them here, we blow paychecks on lottery tickets. There's Desmond Patman, if it was that easy. Colts, that'll go to, we got Lottery Fever here at Jaspies. Mark. You know, if we sold lottery tickets and someone won, we'd get a, we'd get a cut as a business. Yeah. So, what's the problem? Marilyn, we got to look into that. Let's look into that. What kind of license? Reggie Robinson, another Cowboys auto for Scott. You can buy them on iPhone apps now. What? That's yeah. that's dangerous. And then you can you can join. We can do an office lottery pool. How? Uh, Imagine that. There'd be murder. Does anyone in, in the chat know what the requirements are to sell lottery tickets at a at a retail establishment? What like, if the office like ours? What if the office lottery pool won a billion? There'd be I said wow. murders, conspiracy like between <laughs> us. You know. <laughs> wow, that got dark. Like we'll just we'll. <laughs> I'm it's just serious. like, well, Nick's dead, so I guess yeah. I get a share. Yeah. A bigger share for everybody. Lawsuits. Soon it's just Thomas running the store and yeah. has a billion dollars. <laughs> the points will randomize to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points. We'll collect all of them together. They usually replace an auto, unfortunately. Rookie ticket autograph, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Jerry Bennington. Michael Pittman Jr. on card autograph to 25. Good looking one here. So maxing businesses get a percent one percent of any winnings. I'll take that. Yeah, how do we well now Mac, tell me how how do how does a business, for example, like ours, be authorized to sell lottery tickets? Oh man, if we had scratchers here, Thomas, it'd be dangerous. Oh. That'd be dangerous. <laughs> It'd be like 50 bucks a week, 50 bucks a day on scratches. Yeah, seriously. All right, Michael Pittman Jr., nice autograph for the Colts. Mark with that one. We got a nice Drew Locke right here, too, to 199 Two boxes to go. Wow, Borussia Mönchengladbach beat Dortmund 4-2. Kind of a surprising scoreline. Mönchengladbach shouldn't be putting four on Dortmund. All right. Two boxes to go. Should be five more autos in each box. Ten autos. A lot of autos still left, folks. So fingers crossed. Yeah, TJ needs some Cardinals. Get that Larry Fitzgerald, TJ. There's a lottery office in Santa Fe Springs. So yeah, probably some, some sort of application and license for the machine. Well, it's something to research, is it? After this break. Is there another break sold out? Pick your team four. This is pick your team three. Pick your team four is down to seven. So we might have some researching time here. Anything else? All right. Nothing else is sold out right now. No, I see a handful of orders coming in though. Keep them coming, folks. Shaffy'sCaseBreaks.com. Nothing sold out after this one. Let's 
Finders pack are a little flimsier than, than usual this year. have a 10 out of 22 Cracked Ice Xavier McKinney autograph going to Satoshi and the New York Football Giants. We've got a Desmond Patton for the Colts. It's another Colt for Mark. A lot of Colts here. A horse break. And we got Bryce Perkins, rookie ticket autograph for the Rams. That's going to be for Esteban and the Ramily. We got more points here. We'll add that to the points pile. Winner take all on the points. And for my Raiders, we got Brian Edwards, rookie ticket on card autograph, 27 out of 89. He battled a bit of an injury early in the season, never did get his season quite going, but I think a ton of upside for this kid. Big target. I think getting that first year of the NFL under his belt is going to be good for him. Who's got my Raiders? That is for Daniel. Daniel Massey with the silver and black. We got a 9 out of 25 round numbers card. Justin Herbert on top, Jordan Love on the bottom. That'll be a separate randomizer from the uh, from the non-numbered ones. Like that one. All right, final box coming up. Good luck. These packs are terrible this year. All right, all right, all right, finally. Good luck. There's playoff ticket, Ben Roethlisberger to 199. That'll be for the Steelers. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. And we've got a John Hightower 
IV, the fourth. Eagles. Nathaniel Murphy with that one. We got another Eagle, Kavon Wallace. Another one for Nathaniel M. Patrick Mahomes out of concussion protocol. He'll be good to go. And we've got some birds right here. We got Chris Strebler. Rookie ticket autograph for the Cardinals. TJ with the bird team. Kind of a cool card here. This this will be part of that uh, left right randomizer, according to the back of the card. That's pretty nice. We've got Derek Brown, little cat team mojo, Carolina. Patrick Davis on the board with a Panthers autograph. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? What's the last redemption going to be? Lynn Bowden, one of one. Metcalf, maybe. Chase Young. It's Denzel Mims. It's only it's, uh, Jack saying there seems like there's a redemption in every box. Not really. It's just our second one out of six boxes. That goes to the New York Jets. I happen to have a pen that matches the Jets' colors. That's going to go to Mark. And you get a free top loader as well. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, before we do a recap, let's do some randomizing here. Scott, you might be lagging behind just a little bit. Make sure you're watching live. He was just, just chimed in with Lamb. No, it's Denzel Mims, a different receiver. We've got – so let's, let me flip screens right here. So we got – Left, right, um, and then we have the Chargers Green Bay one, and then let's grab everyone's names from TJ down to Mark, and name on top will get both of those points cards. Come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. Wake up. Time to work. What's going on here? Odd. All right. One dice roll for all three randomizer. It's going to be four and a five, nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Four and a five after nine times. Left side, we'll get these uh, round number cards. This is numbered, so a different dice roll. Four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, chargers on top. So that'll be for Franz with the Chargers. You get the Justin Herbert, Jordan Love card, nine out of 25. The points, winner take all on the points, two 250s, four and a five, 
nine times. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, name on top. Little consolation prize, couple points cards. Gonna go to Sean Maddock. There you go, Sean. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team three in the books. Quick little recap here. There you go. Not a bad break at all. Some cracked ice. Some nice on-card autographs. Got some old school guys. A couple printing plates in the mix. J.K. Dobbins. Some rookie cards. The Kenneth Murray. Nice on cards, Kirk Cousins, Tua, and Quez Watkins to start things off. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pick your team three in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. More in the store. Go and get it. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.